This has got the fix-it guy. I'm going to be making a pommel for a broadsword. So I'm making a new broadsword out of spring steel and the <coughs> brass pommel that comes with it is good but it's not quite enough weight at the end to counterbalance the sword uh, so it's a bit tip heavy. So we want to build a little more weight on the pommel. One way I was thinking I could do that is to cast a new pommel, which is a little bit more solid brass, which is heavier. I also found an ornamental piece from a dragon statue. I'm going to try to attach that. Something like that. And then um, where there's gaps, I'm going to fill it in temporarily just with wax and then I'll make a casting and I might remove some of the brass once it's all once it's all done. But basically, <clears throat> actually it'll be this way. This will be at the bottom of the sword and I think it'll be good. It'll be pretty heavy. Good counterbalance, look pretty, pretty ornate with a dragon. And to do that casting, what I'm going to do is drive a screw through here into this one. I'm going to drill a pilot hole to connect these. I'll fill in the gaps with some wax, which is full of brass scraps. Superheated, this brass will all melt down. And I'll grab that with my tongs and then pour in the brass. And it'll form this pretty heavy uh, pommel that'll be shaped just like this dragon. I think we're getting there. our broadsword. So we've got the brass up to the liquid temperature, about 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, and poured it into the mold, let it cool, and it turned out to be a really nice dragon brass pommel. So this is a big brass pommel I'm doing for a broadsword with a dragon, and I used um, lost wax technique to make the uh, impression. I put it in some fix-all, which is kind of like plaster of Paris. And then I uh, put it in with some casting sand around it to give it more uh, support. And then I poured in, had a hole right here, poured in the brass on top. I'm just gonna crack this open now to see if it worked. I guess it's, cool, it's cooled down pretty good by now. exploit this crack that's already there. All right, looks like we got a dragon. To shine it up to really tell, but I think it worked okay. <clears throat> that's the bottom part, um, pommel. I don't know, this part looks like it probably didn't form correctly. We'll see. Get this all polished up and take a look. We're just shining up this dragon a little bit with a wire wheel. Um, it's kind of what it looks like before you shine it up and then this is after the wire wheel. You can tell some air got in there and kind of bubbled things up, but I think this is workable. This side of the face is good. This side I might do a little Dremel work to get the mouth a little bit more open, make this eye look better. And then I'm going to put it on the grinder and I'm going to get this, I'll just cut this off with a hacksaw, just a little extra piece, grind that off, grind all this nice and flat, and I think this will be workable. I'm going to grind off some of these seam parts too. Can do a little shaping on this. Gonna use a pretty aggressive belt here. Working on the basic shapes. 